And now to uh, events in Wimbledon and that uh, crash outside a school there in the uh, London borough of Merton. Our sports presenter Jackie Beltrow uh, is uh, on the scene and joins us now on the phone. Jackie, what more can you tell us? Yes, this is a, a very small road round just off uh, Wimbledon Common where the pond is located. It's a really, really narrow road, very quiet, not a main road at all. I can see about eight ambulances in front of me, blue lights flashing. Uh, there is a police cordon up, so we can't get closer to the school. The study school uh, faces onto the common, which is part of Wimbledon Golf Course as well. I've spoken to a policeman who'd also not been beyond the end cordon, and he said... There are casualties. They are taking them away in the ambulances to hospital one by one. He couldn't say exactly what had happened, but it was a serious traffic incident. Uh, he believed it was an out-of-control car, uh, one vehicle involved. That's what he told me. Uh, I can't confirm that because I cannot see the school from where I'm standing, but no one can. Uh, there are so many ambulances uh, lined up on Camp Road alongside the pub, the Fox and Grapes, which is uh, well known to people who live in Wimbledon. Uh, there must be at least as many ambulances behind me, uh, fire trucks, uh, several fire trucks and many, many uh, police cars. The roads all around the common have been closed off. Um, I've had to come across here on foot um, and there are lots of well look like parents uh, standing behind me and other smaller children uh, just waiting for some news uh, the policemen in front of me have not been up to the scene they are literally manning the police cordon so uh, difficult to know exactly what's happened um, but we do know there are casualties and they are being taken to hospital one by one no ambulances have driven past me as yet I've been here for about five minutes um, none have come past me as yet. Um, that is pretty much all I can tell you right now. Uh, several camera crews have arrived, as you can imagine, and multiple police officers just manning this cordon and this in entire road. But as I said, very, very small road in Wilberton Common. Very quiet. It's not really enough space for two cars, if I'm honest. Um, very hard to know how anyone would have got up to any kind of speed. It's almost like a one-way system um, going round the school. Difficult to imagine how this might have happened, really.